spin. Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. I am just getting ready for my day. I'm gonna take you guys along on the next couple days. It is Wednesday, is it? No, 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 it's Tuesday. I was gonna say, this week is going by fast, but no, it's Tuesday. Just having a normal work week. I got up this morning and walked on my walking pad for 45 minutes, and then we've made ourselves a oat milk latte. I've been really bad lately about like rolling out of bed and just immediately consuming coffee before I do anything else. So I'm gonna try to be a little bit better about that and do like my morning walk before coffee rather than coffee and my morning walk at the same time. I don't really know if it makes that much of a difference, but I just feel like coffee being the first thing my body has every morning is probably not the best. So I wanna do water and my morning walk before I have my coffee. Also, I washed all my makeup brushes this weekend, so they are feeling very clean. Whenever I wash my makeup brushes, I also wash all my makeup. You know, obviously I don't submerge them in water, but I like wipe them down with Dawn dish soap and stuff so that they stay looking nice and clean and they don't get all gross. I feel like I have so much I wanna say. Just a little chatty intro because I took off the whole weekend vlogging so I'm ready to get back at it but it's kind of hard for me to justify putting on makeup especially when I do these workout classes after work because I was breaking out last week and I'm starting to think that maybe it's because I wear makeup during the work day and then I go sweat with all that makeup on and so now I'm thinking I probably need to take my makeup off before I go work out because I just can't imagine that sweating with all that makeup on and like opening up your pores and letting all that makeup come in is the best thing for your skin. So yeah, now I'm thinking that I'm going to need to take my makeup off before I go to that workout class. <laughs> and then I don't put makeup on until after I walk in the morning. So that's like six or seven hours total that I'll have makeup on just to be working, like sitting at my computer. So it honestly is really hard for me to justify even like putting it on every day because I'm like, okay, I stay at home, sit at my computer, and then I just have to take it off to go to my workout class. So I don't know, you guys might be seeing me with less makeup, but like the benefit of makeup is it does make me feel more put together. Like it just makes me honestly have a better day because I feel better about myself, more put together. So I don't know. There are, will probably be days where I just don't wear it more often now, but it's a nice thing to do for myself, even if it's kind of inconvenient. Like even if, okay, I have to just go take it off in a few hours. Oh, I do love clean makeup brushes. I feel like your makeup just goes on so smooth. I've heard a lot of people talk about this brush, but this brush is so good, you guys. It's the Merit, just their, I think they only have one brush, so it's just their standard brush. Right now I use it for liquid blush and liquid highlight but I would use this for concealer and liquid bronzer as well. Like I would own multiple of these if I could. We are very close on this channel to 12,000 subscribers, which is so crazy, so exciting. I know that's probably not a lot to some people, but I have been doing this YouTube channel since, I think it was May or June of 2020. Basically in COVID, I was living at my parents' house. I graduated college in May of 2020. I moved in with my parents for about two months. I was just like secretly filming on my iPhone, like upstairs in my parents' old house. And then this channel just like, I took you guys with me through my time in grad school and now just kind of living this crazy confusing life that is getting through our 20s and yeah it's been a very slow burn with my channel like just very slow consistent growth and i remember like when i first started my channel and i hit like 100 subscribers or a thousand i used to think when i hit 10,000 subscribers like that's when you're like a youtuber that's when you can like feel like your channel is successful and obviously i hit that and i do feel that to an extent 
but then you're also always kind of looking for that next milestone so i just wanted to take a second to like appreciate all the new faces i feel like i've gotten a lot of new subscribers lately and i love just our little small corner of the internet that we have i love sharing i love when you guys comment that is like the best thing ever and i feel like i've gotten a lot more engagement lately because it's so cool to hear from you and see the people that i am sharing my life with i am oversharing quite a bit on the internet and it's nice to like hear you guys and talk to you guys and put some faces to the people that i'm sharing with so yeah i just wanted to take a second to thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching and being here my youtube channel is my baby it's like my favorite thing that i get to do it's my hobby which just makes it so special that i get to watch it grow and you guys to enjoy it as well so love that i love connecting with you guys and my morning meeting just started so let's get this day going I want to quickly share a couple things that I got in the mail. Okay, first off, some stuff for, I guess, the wedding. I got these cute custom stickers. I think this is what I'm going to use to seal our invitations, which we have so much time, you guys. Like, our invitations are not even going out until November. But this company reached out to me and offered to send me them. So, obviously, I was going to accept that. I think I got... I don't know they might be a little big for sealing envelopes like i think i could have gone a size smaller but either way honestly they're really cute and they will be great for a lot of different stuff like you can always stick a little custom sticker on your favors or your menus or whatever really so i got so many of these like i think i have 200 something and this website is really affordable this is not sponsored everything i'm about to show you would have costed less than 200 bucks so yeah i got so many of these custom stickers i think they're very cute and then i feel like everyone when you get a wedding invitation like you stick it on your fridge right that's what you do so that you remember so i thought it would be cute if we got magnets that we could just stick in with the invitation so that people can just stick the magnet on their fridge and hide I basically have to hide the whole thing because it has like our wedding website and stuff on it but i just got these cute magnets they say krista and william are getting married they have the wedding date and then they have like a big qr code with our wedding website and password on it so very cute just gonna stick these in with the invitations i think magnets are a great way to elevate your invitation if you want to add that in and we got a lot of them so cute wedding stuff that I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna use it. And then I got this Amazon packaging. I didn't order anything off Amazon. So I think my mom might have sent me something. It says, one of the best marriage books out there. Spend some date nights working through this. You'll be happy you did from mom. Aw. It is the Five Love Languages. I think this is a, yeah, like a book reading about it. And then a workbook, which I love stuff like this. I love having intentional spending intentional time together i think that's very sweet i'm gonna text her i i kind of knew that was coming because like i've told you guys we share an amazon account and i got an email that i had a package on the way and i was like mm, i didn't order anything so oh, i'm excited about this we'll see we'll see if will wants to do it is this homework mm -hmm. <laughs> we can sit and have date night and work through the workbook together Sure, let's bring it to happy hour. She said, one of the best marriage books out there. Spend some date nights working through this together. Ooh, you have to ride in it. You'll have to be the uh, scribe. Yeah, this is nice. I like like stuff like this. What's your love language? Do you know? I like all of them. <laughs> no, I am. I love little stuff like this. Stop saying little. I love stuff. I love stuff like this. Okay, it's a little bit after five. I'm done with work for the day and I need to head out the door in like five minutes because I'm gonna go do my workout class. So off goes the makeup. Just using a makeup wipe. I don't use these a lot, but I do have them because they're great for travel and stuff. I've also been wearing, Will has this old Fitbit that he doesn't use. So I've been wearing it to just try and get like a more accurate step count. So I'm at 
6,500 already for the day. My goal is seven to 10K every day. So I'll definitely hit that today. I was just tracking it with my iPhone, but obviously it's not very accurate because I don't carry my iPhone everywhere with me. So on just like random days like today, this is nice to have to get a little bit accurate of a step tracker. Makeup is off. Oh, a band and a strap. Oh. Great workout. That was honestly one of the best that I've had in a while. I'm just cooking up me and Will some dinner. I am doing very easy recipe, just quesadillas. So tortillas, cheese. I cooked up some ground turkey to go in them. I'm, this is Will's, so it's cooking, and then I'll do mine. And for a veggie, I just did some broccoli in the air fryer. I just got in my morning steps, let's see. I'm loving this little Fitbit so I can track my steps. Um, we're at 4,723, that's a good feeling. If I didn't go on like do that cardio or get some kind of walk in in the mornings, I don't think I could hit 10K steps like because I'm so sedentary throughout the day. But so freaking good. I am dog sitting today and the owner texted me this morning and was like, what do you want from caffeine roasters? Best day ever. So I just put it in the fridge, but now I'm drinking it. I just got my normal iced oat milk latte with Sugar-free vanilla. I don't know why they put a little dome lid on it. So good. I wanted to tell you guys about the show that we just watched. And because I asked you guys for some show recommendations and you guys gave me quite a few. So I've added quite a few to our list. Yellowstone, I think we're gonna start that one tonight. I've heard great things. Someone said that in the comments. Also Shogun, Shogun, Shogun. That one has been on our list for a while. Here's the problem I have with it. Will likes it. We actually started it. But my issue is a lot of it is in Japanese. So you have to read the subtitles. And I'm really bad about like looking away, looking at my phone. So then I get really lost because you miss a lot if you look away for even like a second. Like even when we watch anime, I always request that we only watch shows that have English dub on them because I cannot, I can't look at my phone. Sometimes I like to like put the show on while we're cooking dinner and you can't look away when you're having to read the subtitles. So I would be willing to give it a, another chance, but it's gonna be one of those shows that like we can only watch it when we're in bed and like my phone is like away. <laughs> I think we'll have to restart it honestly. I think we'll have to restart it too. We watched a few episodes, but I got so confused from looking away. And you, did, you even said like, if you look away for a second, you get yeah. lost. Because because there's a lot of like complex like political like interaction yeah. with these characters and like I think there's a good bit of nuance that like it's just so easy to miss if you miss like two sentences. Yeah. So. I think we're gonna start Yellowstone tonight. That's my request. And then I think we'll retry Shogun. But we just binge watched a show in I think three days. It was only eight episodes, so but it's called Fallout. It's on Amazon Prime. It was so good. I really liked that show. I wish there was more. It's based on a video game that I guess people used to play. <laughs> I had never heard of it before, but it's kind of sci-fi-y. I don't know, it was really good. I don't think you have to know the video game to enjoy the show. Like I knew nothing about the video game and I really liked it. Will knew plenty about the video game and I think he liked it even more because he caught the video game references and stuff, but it's about post nuclear war Earth with some sci-fi on it, so. Really good, highly suggest. Only eight episodes, so you can get through it quickly. I thought it was really like high quality produced. That's my show suggestion for you guys. Okay, look. Did, when did you get that? Brace is, I brought it for me. If you don't know, Caffeine Roasters is my favorite coffee shop in Tampa. We've been to quite a few. The other like big popular one is Buddy Brew. And I think Caffeine Roasters is so much better than Buddy Brew. So, if you're a Tampa girly and you haven't had caffeine roasters, give it a try. Ricky, he is a very sweet. He's very sweet. I can't get over that oh, that is crazy. I know. I have been tracking my macros again lately, and I say that I've been doing it for like three days, but 
just trying to be more intentional with hitting my protein intake. It started because I tracked randomly one day last week. I wasn't like tracking to hit anything. I was just tracking out of curiosity. And I only got in like 60 grams of protein. And I was like, that is not good. I used to be really good about hitting like 150 grams a day. My goal right now that I'm setting is 130 grams a day just to get back into it. I think that's just a good standard number to hit. So yeah, I mean, I eat like, even that day I had eaten two eggs, two egg whites. I ate for lunch, I had like some leftover pasta and I had two meatballs. And then for dinner, you know, I had some kind of meat. I think it was chicken with veggies. So yeah, so I'm kind of like looking around. I'm trying to find ways to get in more protein. And it honestly is difficult. Today I've eaten, I had a quesadilla with some four ounces of ground turkey. And then I just ate like a little cottage cheese. And let's see what I'm at. So far, I'm at 54 grams for the day. It's hard to like hit that number. So I'm gonna start like tracking again, but not calories or other macros. I'm mainly just trying to hit that protein intake. It is almost three o'clock. So the day has been good. I just had my last work meeting of the day. I might do a what I eat in a day video soon. I used to really like those videos. I still do, like I like to watch them. I know. They can be triggering for people. So that's the one thing that kind of keeps me away from doing them. But I feel like my eating habits are pretty healthy. I don't know, I definitely, I might do one soon. Just like what I eat in a day to hit 140 grams of protein kind of video. We'll see, let me know if that's something you guys would want to see or if you think like, don't do that. <laughs> but uh, it used to be something they basically just like threw. It's kind of weird looking, but I like the texture. Stopped at Publix on my way home from my workout. I wanted to share because this is just a beautiful. <laughs> this is just a beautiful, healthy looking grocery haul. So starting with meat, I guess I got this salmon filet that I'm going to cook tonight for dinner. Will got himself some lamb chops. And then I just always like to have chicken sausage on hand because it's the easiest, quickest dinner possible. I picked up a couple of these perfect bars. I used to eat these all the time. They're really good taste-wise. Yeah, only two grams of carbs, 12 grams of protein. They're pretty calorically dense, honestly, but it's because they're made out of peanut butter. They're honestly really good. For veggies, I got green beans, a Caesar kit, and some cabbage for sauteed cabbage. Got some blueberries and raspberries. My favorite yogurt is the Oikos Triple Zero. Frozen berries and then some almond milk. So very happy with this haul. Using the seasoning on the salmon. I like it, Will doesn't. So take that with what you will. It has like paprika, brown sugar, salt. It's sweet. Yeah, I think the brown sugar and then the smoked paprika just uh... I, I like a more savory flavor profile on my salmon. I like it though. A little bit of citrus is nice. Very good. I've just got some almond milk and water in a shaker cup. I've been having to drink usually like one protein shake a day to reach my protein goals. So. It's usually the end of the day that I'm drinking it because it's like, I'm like, okay, I still need 20 grams of protein. What can I easily eat? Protein shake. So I got this new kind of protein. It's casein protein. Um, and it specifically says on here for nighttime and between meals. It is 24 grams of slow digesting protein. A slow digesting protein can be used to support muscle recovery at times you go without food, such as while you sleep. I don't know, I thought it would be good to try casein because like it says, it's more slow digesting, whereas just a traditional whey protein is, the point of it is for it to be quick. So you're supposed to drink it right after a workout to get those proteins to your muscles. if. I'm understanding it correctly. But this kind of is supposed to satiate you a little bit more because it's slower digesting. I don't know if I'll see that big of a difference, but I figured since I'm usually drinking my protein shakes at night, that this would be a better option for me. I will say there wasn't a lot of options on the market. There was only a few brands that carried casein. Okay, this is the brand that I went with. Um, it's Optimum Nutrition Casein. 
and I got the flavored chocolate supreme. They had cookies and cream. They had a peanut butter one, but it was sold out. One scoop of this. Let's give it a shot. It's good, it's gritty. Mm. Would you say that's normal? I mean, I, I never made it like that. Like I always did like a blender shake or I would make the pudding. I never like shake or cup it. It's definitely like thicker, I feel like. Like yeah. it's making the water or milk thicker. It tastes good, it's just definitely thicker, a little bit grittier than just a traditional way. So maybe if you are like me and you like to drink your protein at night, look into this for a different kind of option. Okay, I drink that entire protein shake and in good faith, I, I don't think I can recommend this protein. <laughs> it is very thick and gritty. I will drink it, but I don't know if the slow digesting is worth how like gritty it is. Give it a try for yourself if you're curious, but I don't know. I'm not sold on it. So close to the end of the week. I feel like this week has gone by really fast. I just made my oat milk latte. We're gonna do another no makeup day today. If you're a Florida gal or guy, a Florida person, let me know if this is accurate. We are having a fly problem in our complex to the extent that it's like making me sick thinking of eating because when we're cooking, I mean the flies, like there's at least three or four flying around. And when I say flies, they're like gnats, like fruit flies, like the little teeny tiny gnats. Our apartment is clean, like we're clean people. We keep the trash taken out. We run the dishwasher every day, but our apartment is not, I wouldn't say infested, but it's got a lot of these little gnats flying around. The gym in our apartment building is pretty much unusable right now because of the fly infestation. You're in there and they're just like, you're eating them. They're all over the place. This is the sink in the gym. We have like an apartment group chat and I mean, people are just always complaining like about these flies. They're super bad in the gym and like everyone has them in their apartment. It just started as the weather started warming up and there's like good days and bad days. Like some days it won't be as bad. But some days like yesterday was kind of unbearable. And when we complain to the front office, they say they're doing what they can, but it's just a Florida thing. They're like, if you move to any other building, you'll have the same problem. It's just a Florida thing. And I'm like, is it? Is it just a Florida thing? Like, I don't know if I believe that. For the most part, honestly, like we have not had many issues with this building, except for the fact that the grill has been out for months now and Will loves to grill, so that's kind of been a big inconvenience. And now this fly problem. I don't know, is it a Florida thing? Do I just need to get over it? but it's been a bit of an adjustment. I mean, there was like a point where I was like, I would cook something and throw it away because I just felt like there were flies all in it. At this point, I've probably eaten probably 20 flies if I had to guess, maybe more because they just are everywhere and it's hard to avoid them. So I'm kind of having to like learn to live with it in a way, which sucks. So yeah, the apartment complex says that they're like bombing the trash chutes and stuff. And I think they do. And I think when they bomb them, like we'll have a few good days where we won't see any flies, but then they just come right back. Like yesterday and today they're back. Is it a Florida thing? And I think we don't have it as bad as some people like, cause we're on a high floor. I know someone who's on basically like the third floor right above the trash area. Like she freaks out in the, um, group message, like I think hers is really bad. She says she doesn't eat inside her apartment. There's another girl that was messaging saying that she got her lease renewal. She didn't renew and they messaged her why and she was like, because of the flies. And that's when they were like, it's just a Florida thing. Any other building will have the flies. So yeah, really sucks. It's, it's like a beautiful, great building, but the fly problem is not great. We already knew we're moving out of this building anyway because um, we want more space, but still, it's definitely unfortunate. I have a dermatology appointment today, this afternoon that I'm gonna run out for. Still trying to get my meds for alopecia. It's just so complicated getting a medicine that is like new. My prescription ran out and I was trying to get my Charlotte doctor to just renew it, but my insurance was denying it because I haven't been to her in over a year. So I had to find a new doctor and it was super hard to like get in with somebody. That I finally found a doctor 
tried to make an appointment with her and then like she went on maternity leave so i had to find another one so hopefully fingers crossed my appointment today goes well and he gets me the medicine prescription um and my insurance approves it because they've been denying me just gotta love it gotta love our healthcare system it really makes no sense like i need this medicine and they're denying me make it make sense i feel like i just complained for like five minutes not to complain just adulting adulting sucks <laughs> Being an adult is hard and it sucks. And there's a lot of shit that you have to do just all the time. And yeah, I, I'm with you guys, I recognize that. All we really can do is just get it done and try to make the most out of the everyday little things because it can be really easy to, for all the little things you have to do to get you down. But I just try to do my best to also do things that I love to do. and. They make all the annoying little adult things we have to do a little bit better. Like my workout class I'm gonna go to later. Dale, Mabry Highway. In the hair of somebody in All right, we shall see what insurance says about that. I literally just went in. I was like, yeah, I've been on this medicine for four years and he was like, okay, well I'll prescribe it for you. Send it off to the pharmacy. Just so weird. I don't know if insurance is gonna have a problem with it because I already had a prescription, but they just said it was too old basically. So we'll see, it's so complicated. Wow guys, very unlike me. I'm going somewhere on a work night. You guys know the routine better than anybody. Usually come home from my workout, I eat dinner and then I go to bed, um, there's naps. I'm like, if you see me attack one. I kind of dropped the vlog off after the doctor, but I basically just finished my work day. I kind of had like a last minute request come in right at four, so I was trying to get that out quick. And then went and got my workout in, it was a good one. Got it. Yeah, that was good. My friend Liv wanted to do like a girls night tonight. She invited a few girls over. She got engaged a couple weeks back and her wedding, she just booked her wedding venue. Her wedding is like just a couple weeks, like two weeks after mine, I think. So yeah, that's always exciting. She, I'm pretty sure tonight she's doing bridesmaids proposals, which is very special. I am gonna be a bridesmaid. That is so special and very like thankful for that friendship. So we are gonna get out of the house tonight just for a little bit. I think we're just like eating. She's gonna do the bridesmaid proposals. I'm sure we'll just chit chat. There's like her sisters going and like a couple other girls. So she was quick with it. Liv, if you're watching, you were quick with it. Me, me and Will, as you guys know, kind of have had a longer engagement. We were engaged um, a year now and our wedding is still a year away. So I'm gonna head over there, have a little girls night. I'm, we're not going till later because one of the girls works late. So I'm only gonna go for a couple hours. I'm wearing basically pajamas and I'm doing my skincare and everything so I can just come home and go straight to bed after. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video this was just a non-themed vlog like taking you guys through a few days and sometimes i love those i do want to go ahead and end off this vlog hope you guys enjoyed make sure you subscribe if you have not already i'm like multitasking here and i will see you guys so very soon in my next video in just a few days